whatever time you have. Uh, welcome to my next video. This is actually like a conclusion of my whole trip to Morocco. And if you haven't seen it, uh, you, can, you can check it on the, in the link up there. Uh, anyway, in this video I will, I will um, share with you some of my tips and tricks about traveling in Morocco some um, points that I have noticed when I was there and uh, basically anything that you may find handy uh, when you when you go there. So in today's video I will uh, talk about how to travel in Morocco, how to use their public transportation, what language you should learn, what you should uh, expect at your arrival and also uh, what currencies they're used and how to get by in the in the usual day in Morocco. So, Stay tuned. So first thing, uh, arriving in Morocco. So when you come to Morocco, you will be obliged to uh, fill out this form. Uh, it's called form of embarkment, I think, something like that, uh, which basically um, requires you to fill out your personal data from from your passport, the password, password number, um, delivery date, and then stuff like that. Your name and um, also the reason for your stay in Morocco and your address in Morocco. Anyway, nobody actually told me that I have to fill these forms out and uh, it's, it's very likely that you may find it out actually at the immigration and they will send you back and you will have to pick this up and fill it out and stay in the queue again, so it's, it's, uh, uh, it's, it's good to know it prior and then you can avoid this. Now the currency. The official currency of Morocco is the Moroccan dirham. Uh, they have Banknotes in the denomination from 20 dirham to several hundred, I think. I, I think that the highest uh, banknote I have seen was 20 hundred, uh, 200, but I, I believe they are larger. Uh, anyway, when you are in the Medina or somewhere in the in the center of any city, like paying with something larger than 100 is not very recommended. First, since you're haggling and they will see that you have this. 200 bill or, or even larger, then they will probably uh, try to rip you off. And even if they don't, they don't usually have enough money to uh, pay you back. So, um, yeah, keep your change. And it can be sometimes quite difficult to get. So if you are at the exchange office, uh, just um, just ask for for smaller bills, for smaller notes. Anyway, um, you can also pay by euro. They accept it fairly everywhere, at least in the tourist places, but um, they actually have, like in the 2019, uh, they have the exchange rate 1 euro for 10 dirham, which is quite bad, so try to avoid uh, paying by euro. Now, traveling in Morocco uh, really surprised me. I mean, uh, you have some Western-like uh, transportation options, like a train, especially when you go um, in between the main uh, towns and cities like Marrakesh, Casablanca, Rabat, and Fez, you can you can uh, go by train and you can actually uh, you can actually uh, buy the ticket online. Uh, they have an they have even have uh, an app. It's called o ONCF, and you can uh, search the connection there and you can you can buy the ticket and then you can either print it out or you can actually show it in the in in, in your in your uh, mobile phone or whatever so that's kind of convenient and uh, they actually say that it doesn't matter whether you buy, buy it uh, in advance on, on online or whether you buy it on the spot but I tried both and uh, like the train ticket from um, Marrakesh to Casablanca that I bought online could be bought from 49 uh, dirham while when I was buying it prior of I don't know half an hour prior to the departure at the at the um, ticket stand it was uh, 150 or 146 so the difference in the price is quite quite big and I can only recommend to use the app or uh, their web page it can be really helpful now traveling within the cities um, you have you have several options um, there is quite extensive bus network in the in the cities. Anyway, if you're in Marrakesh, uh, traveling by bus is quite easy. 
you can find the uh, you can find the um, timetables on the major on the major um, bus stops. You just pay for the room to the driver, and he gives you the ticket, and you can go by bus. In Casablanca, it's uh, five dirham, and the bus network is uh, much less developed, actually, which kind of surprised me. The buses there are horrible. I had the feeling that we are like the only Western people in the bus in Marrakesh and also in Casablanca, so maybe the tourists don't use it. Which brings me to the second point, and that's a uh, taxi. Um, the taxi drivers will try to rip you off. I mean, that's a fact, and it's not only Morocco, it's like basically everywhere in the world. I mean, I had the same problem in Prague, and I had the same problem in uh, Amman, in uh, Bangkok. Like, basically everywhere, uh, the taxi drivers are well known for trying to rip you off, so be prepared for that. Anyway, if you want to avoid uh, haggling with a taxi driver, uh, there is an, an interesting app. There is like no no Uber or Bolt or whatever in in uh, Morocco, but there is this um, specific application. It's called Karim. It's this app. I'm not sure if you can see it. Yeah, Karim. So uh, it works basically like um, like in like Uber. Um, you, you just choose your pickup uh, location and your drop off location. It will tell you the price in advance. It will call for the driver, and there yeah, you can go. You have two options. There is uh, the option called Go and then Go Taxi. The Go option will call just the private car, and uh, the Go Taxi will actually order a taxi for you. Now, um, the thing about this is, we tried the first time and we ordered just a normal car and. It picked us up uh, in front of the Hassan the Second Mosque in Casablanca, and we got attacked by three other taxi drivers, and our driver got beat up, I think, or something. I'm not sure. We ran away. Um, so if you if you pick up uh, the the private driver, uh, be sure to make it uh, further from uh, from the main uh, main landmarks because these places are usually crowded by taxi drivers, and they hate people that are using this app, so you may end up in a problem like we did. But anyway, if you want to avoid this, you can you can order a taxi. The, the, the prices for the private driver and the taxi driver are basically the same. They vary in the in the amount about, the, I don't know, 10 dirham, which is like nothing. Overall, I was really surprised. I was expecting that Morocco will be one of the least, uh, let's say, tourist friendly countries I've ever been. Actually, as a tourist, I didn't find myself uh, lost somewhere without any idea what to do. Um, the tourist industry in the main uh, towns like um, like uh, Marrakesh, Rabat, uh, Casablanca or Fez is well developed. And if you want to visit Morocco uh, beyond these uh, main sites, there is always the option uh, to buy some organized tours. We had one two-day tour to the Sahara Desert. It was very, f very fun, very interesting, and um, we got to places where it would be probably really hard to get um, to get by by the public transportation. Anyway, I really hope that you enjoyed uh, my videos from Morocco um, and I hope that you found this video helpful and if you're interested in anything more or if you have any more questions, uh, leave them in the comments below. I will, try to, I will try to answer them as well as I can and in the meantime, if you enjoy my content, please give me a subscribe or, and recommend me to others if, if, if you think that they might like it too. Uh, give a like to this video if you, if, you, if you found it helpful and if you liked it and um, yeah, see you the next time. I'm really looking forward on my next trip.